But just to show you what I've been doing uh, in the garden, uh, I've been clearing around um, or clearing out a massive patch around here. This is going to be where I've been going to be planting most of my veg this year, directly into the soil. Uh, so we've got new dogs. Um, and what I've also uh, been doing is uh, trying to create some more of these. These are uh, basically bottomless pots. And the reason why these are bottomless pots is because what's inside them um, are things which need to be well drained. So here's um, this is a giant sea kale, small at the moment, but this will grow um, about six foot tall. And with the um, seed head um, protruding another about three feet above that. And this here lets the water drain really freely down. Um, so this doesn't get overly too damp, although it's very damp, it's been raining nearly every day. So that's that. So that I have been moving. Um, some of the um, things like the Swiss chard and the uh, perpetual uh, spinach I've planted at the top here so I can get some extra uh, veg hopefully in um, a week or two. I moved um, some of the rocket into these containers here and harvested um, quite a lot of rocket as well and some other um, greens but managed only to get about one and a half pounds of uh, greens uh, from clearing out the whole garden really. There's not much else to eat. And just here I've got my kale and this is a perennial kale, it's a cottager's kale uh, so it should um, last about up to what, up to seven years I've been told so it's really good. I've also um, potted up some of my uh, pots there with uh, compost ready to do some planting in about another four to five weeks. I've been checking what's coming out in the garden and here's some rhubarb sprouting there and over there. Uh, this one's a later variety um, so this one hasn't come out yet. This is a Tipperary Early. I can't remember what this is called. It's generic rhubarb it was called when I bought it. Some of the um, kale that I've ripped out I've uh, replanted into um, this pot here. So it's uh, this isn't a um, perennial kale but I'm hoping to get another harvest or two from this once it starts sprouting a bit more and instead of just um, composting it just getting another meal hopefully. And then behind this I've got um, six large containers squashed together creating a uh, raised bed um, which is approximately uh, three foot high which stops from bending over so I'm going to put like courgettes and some other bits and bats in there as well so I'm looking forward to using that. Just here we've got my uh, strawberry plant and there's a little fruit loops there so they've lasted right through winter they haven't really dropped off at all I'm doing absolutely fine uh, to the side down here we've got um, Winter Purse Lane doing really well, some more back there. And this being the first week of February, I've also got um, some leaves on the um, on the uh, grapevine as well, so that's uh, not been affected by much cold really at all we've had this year. Right, take care and bye.